Hello, 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 hello. Beautiful, beautiful and blessed people of God. It is an absolutely amazing day. So check it out. I was driving and God brought to my remembrance the time that I was assigned to this one particular celebrity. Um, now I've had the opportunity to work in Hollywood and do different things and work with certain celebrities in different capacities. Um, the capacity that I worked depended upon the celebrity and what was going on at that moment. So this particular celebrity um, was having a, a movie screen and I was assigned to him. Now, this guy is a legend. He's been around for a very long time. He's still alive. Um, a lot of the comedians you see today, they are following in his footsteps. They're taking, they've taken notes for him. So this is one of the, um, I haven't seen him do another movie since this last movie, which came up about two to three years ago. Okay. And so we're getting ready. And I know that this celebrity is going to come to the screening. The people that are viewing the screening um, have no idea what's going on. They just think they're coming to screen the movie and get their input before the movie comes out, right? Um, so there was this one particular movie viewer and she was like causing a ruckus because she started looking around her and she noticed that there was two screenings going on and there were. Um, there was one screening, she felt like it was just a lot of white people. And then there was another screening, which I was in because this is where the celebrity was going to be in, was a lot of black people. And she wasn't happy with it. She was like, uh-uh, see, there's something going on. They got us separated. They got us segregated. I mean, she was causing a ruckus, start, trying to start commotion. <laughs> but they didn't kick her out, you know. She was like, they got us separated. There's like a lot of, I went in the next theater, there's a lot of white people over there. And it's like all the black people over here. And me knowing what's going on, I was like, little does she know that the screening that she's in with all the black people is where the star of the movie is going to be in to watch. And he was there because he wanted to see the reactions. Um, it's a lot of executives that are there, the director, executive producers, the editor, everybody is there because they want to get feedback. They want to see live the reactions of the people so they know what to do, what to take out of the movie and everything like that. What to put in, what to add to, all that stuff is just something that they do before they release a movie. They have a screening. They have numerous screenings because they want to see how the different demogra demographics and ethnicities respond to the movie. And she's just complaining. I'm like, little does she know that she's a blessed one because the celebrity is going to be the star of the movie, who they came to see, why they're doing the screening because he's huge and they want to see what's coming out before anybody else gets to see it, is going to be in the exact theater that she is in. My goodness. And so what happened was, was we sit, you know, we seat everybody down, get everybody, you know, everybody sitting down, get everybody started. And I know my assignment is to cater to this celebrity star of the film. He's a legend. I'll say that. It's no doubt about it. And so he comes in as everything is, you know, he comes in a little late. Everything is starting. Credits is rolling. The movie is dark. Everybody is focused on the screen. And then he comes in through a certain interest in the back. And then he's sitting there. And at this time, he had brought his daughter with him. And he has a, a hoodie on. It's like he's wearing, like, he has a hood on his head. So he's sitting there and as the movie is going, he slowly, when he knows everybody's just like focused, he's in the very back, he slowly releases his um, hoodie and watches the movie and is observing the audience and how they're responding. And what God placed in my spirit was that a lot of you guys are complaining because of where you're at right now. You are complaining because you feel like you are not supposed to be where you're at. 
that God is not where you are at, that God can't possibly be where you're at because of what's going on. You're just complaining. When God is saying all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, God is saying, little do you know that I am showing up at the very place that you are right now. In this situation, I am going to bless you. This, this, you are at the right place at the right time because this is where I'm going to bless you. I'm going to have you experience me. This is where you want to experience me and know that I am God. You're going to understand why I sent a piece of myself, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins. This very moment, if there was not darkness, how could you experience the light? If there was not sadness, how would you appreciate and understand joy? You understand what I'm saying? It's working together for your good. But stop complaining. God is there. He wants to bless you. You need to start thanking God for where you are at right now. Thank God for the situation that you are in right now because he is going to show up there and blow your mind. Blow your mind far beyond anything you can ever think or imagine. God is right there. And that's what he put on my spirit. And I was like, my goodness, blessed be the name of the most high God. So stop complaining and start rejoicing and blessing God. Because if you're in that situation that's uncomfortable, best believe God is going to show up and show you that he is God. He is in the midst of it. Start praising him and thanking him right now. Right now. You understand what I'm saying? Goodness, if that woman knew that that legendary celebrity that she came to go watch the movie was right in her presence, I bet you she wouldn't have complained. I bet you she wouldn't have worried about who was next door, what type of audience was next door, and that they had two different screenings. See, the people in the other screening, he, did, he, he didn't sit in that screening. He sat in the screening where she was. When she thought it, they were being racist, they were not. He just wanted to see how his people, how his people were going to respond to that movie. You understand? That's why they had it segregated. My goodness. So stop looking to the left or to a right, to the right and worrying about what's around you because you don't understand what is going on. But know this, that God wants to bless you. So say thank you. Stop complaining and start praising. God is good. And that's what he wanted me to tell you. <laughs> I love you guys. Be blessed. Put this in your spirit. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. It's working together for your good in the name of Jesus. It's working together for your good in the name of Jesus. It's working together for your good in the name of Jesus. Now you go out there and be blessed and thank God. Thank God. Thank God for where you're at because he's about to deliver you out in the name of Jesus. Be blessed.